Welcome to section 45 of Bacteria. This is our bacteria overview figure, and in this video, we'll be discussing Leptospira interrogans, which you can see right here. This scene will take place in the tropics near the beach with this guy surfing. Notice that he's holding a spear in one hand as if he's hunting something. Spear sounds like Leptospira, so we've shown this guy holding a spear to help you remember that this image is all about Leptospira interrogans. If you look closely at the waves, you can see that they resemble a spiral. And this is here to help you remember that this organism is a spirochete. This is a scanning electron microscope image of Leptospira interrogans. As you can see, the organism has the characteristic spiral shape. Now you can see that we've added another guy to the scene who appears to be fishing. Look at that hook on the end of his fishing pole. He's definitely fishing for something. At the same time, he doesn't seem to be very environmentally friendly based on all of the oil spilling out of the back of his boat. In any case, the hook on his fishing pole and the yellow oil spill that resembles urine are here to help you remember that Leptospira is a spirochete with hook-shaped ends and that it's commonly found in water contaminated with animal urine. Okay, now let's move on to discuss leptospirosis and whale disease. Leptospirosis is simply the clinical manifestations caused by leptospira interrogans, and whale disease is a more severe form of leptospirosis. Okay, with this in mind, notice the tropical trees in the background. This is to help you remember that leptospirosis is prevalent in the tropics. We've specifically made our main character surfing to help you remember that leptospirosis is prevalent among surfers. We've also made his board yellow like the color of jaundice skin to help you remember that leptospirosis can cause jaundice. Next, notice that the surfer guy has sunglasses on and is looking away from the sun. This is to help you remember that leptospirosis can cause photophobia. All right, now notice that we've added a whale to the image. Looks like the surfer guy and the fisherman have been hunting this poor whale and managed to land a spear in its side. Look at all that blood flying into the air. If you look closely, you can see that some of it has flown all the way over to the surfer guy and has landed on his glasses, making them red. The red spot on his glasses should help you remember that leptospirosis can cause conjunctival erythema. Also notice that the surfer guy is sweating. After all, surfing is pretty exhausting, right? So the sweat is here to help you remember that leptospirosis causes flu-like symptoms, including myalgias. Okay, now that we've covered leptospirosis, let's move on to discuss whale disease. Whale disease is simply a severe form of leptospirosis. So to help you remember this, we've shown a poor whale getting attacked by these two ruthless hunters. Now you can see that we've added an innocent Dalmatian dog on their fisherman's boat. As usual, the dog has a liver spot on its trunk, which is here to help you remember that whale disease can cause liver dysfunction. Remember the yellow board? This should help you remember that leptospirosis, including the more severe form, which is whale disease, can cause jaundice. Now notice that we've shown the dog holding up a lamp. The fishermen brought this along just in case they needed it for the evening. You never know how long it's going to take to catch a whale, I guess. Anyway, just like in our other videos, the lamp is here to help you remember that whale disease can cause a fever. Remember how the blood was splattering all over the surfer's glasses? Well, the blood that's shown closer to the whale appears to be quite a bit. With that kind of uncontrolled bleeding, the whale will most likely develop anemia. So this part of the image should help you remember that whale disease can cause hemorrhage and anemia. Finally, notice that we've added several shrimp underneath the fisherman's boat. These resemble the shape of kidneys, so they're here to help you remember that whale disease can cause renal failure. Okay, now that we've covered the image, let's review with a question. A 24-year-old male presents to the physician due to myalgias and a headache. He states that he first noticed his symptoms after returning home from a surfing trip to Hawaii two days ago. Physical examination reveals conjunctival erythema. The physician suspects a spirochete infection and immediately begins antibiotic therapy. Which of the following complications is most likely associated with this patient's condition? A. A painful genital ulcer. B. A maculopapular rash on the trunk. C. A painless genital ulcer. Or D. Renal failure. Okay, from the question stem, hopefully you notice that this patient recently went surfing in Hawaii and then developed myalgias, a headache, and conjunctival erythema. Also, the physician suspected a spirochete infection, which should have immediately made you think of Leptospira interrogans, syphilis, and Borrelia burgdorferi, because these are all spirochetes. However, only Leptospira interrogans is associated with surfing in tropical areas and presents with this patient's symptoms. So the correct answer is D, renal failure. From the image, recall that the shrimp that are shaped like kidneys right here are here to help you remember that whale disease can cause renal failure. Choice A is associated with Haemophilus de Cray and is a red herring. B is also a red herring because this can be confused with the rash caused by syphilis, which is a spirochete. However, the maculopapular rash of syphilis classically involves the palms and soles, and syphilis does not cause conjunctival erythema in surfers. So B is incorrect. 
C is describing the classic lesion seen in syphilis, and again, while syphilis is a spirochete, it does not cause conjunctival erythema in surfers. So C is incorrect. So again, the correct answer is D, renal failure. And with that, we've covered everything you need to know about Leptospira and pterygans.